What's up guys? So today I'm gonna talk to you about my malaria scare in Uganda. I feel like absolute shit. My head is burning and I'm spinning. Malaria is a reality when you travel to most of Africa. I would say the middle of Africa, so sub-Saharan, just underneath the Sahara and just above uh, South Africa and Botswana and Namibia. So that belt, basically that tropical green belt you see in Africa, when you look at the continent, that's where you're most likely going to find malaria because it's a tropical region and it's a tropical disease. So, what is malaria? Malaria is a disease that's carried by the female mosquitoes and it's a blood-borne disease, so it's a disease that affects your blood and your red blood cells. So basically if you get this parasite that the female mosquito holds, then that can affect your red blood cells significantly and cause you flu-like symptoms and eventually if it's untreated it can be very uh, severe and very fatal so especially for travelers who are not used to being in Africa I think um, it can be really um, detrimental to our health so my story in Uganda okay I was in Uganda twice first time I was there for two weeks I was taking my malarial tablets no problems um, the second time I was five months in into my travels. I had already done quite a few countries in Africa I wasn't been in Nigeria. I didn't take anything there, but I knew malaria was high risk in Uganda So I started taking the tablets and then I started taking breaks I was like nah, it's fine. I can uh, just use spray. I'm acclimatized I don't need to uh, you know, I've been in Africa for a while. Nothing's happened uh, So one day I started to feel really ill and that's the thing that you must really be aware of. The minute you feel some kind of flu, so fever-like, shaking a bit, hot and cold, take a test immediately. Like that is my number one advice for you. As soon as you feel something, either grab a test at the pharmacy or go to the nearest hospital and get a test. I'm gonna show you a clip now of, of, of me like feeling absolutely crap. I'm gonna go venture out on my own. I think that's one of the downsides of traveling solo is when you do feel ill, um, you kind of have to do everything by yourself. Really hope it's not malaria though, because uh, I still have some time here in Uganda and I still wanted to finish a couple of things, so hopefully it's just a headache from dehydration or I don't know. Let's find out. Right, so I decided then to go to the hospital on my own, I was feeling really sad, and, you know, no one was there to, to help me go to the hospital. It was a Sunday night, uh, and then I took a cab uh, in Kampala. Kampala is one of the most uh, busiest city I've ever been in, there's so much traffic. So I was there just feeling horrible in the traffic. I was like, am I, am I gonna get out of this? Do I even have malaria? I think that the pain is, it's not even just the symptoms, it's or not knowing if it's malaria or not. So that, it's just a mental pain. Um, but before, this is a crucial detail actually, before I left uh, the house, I took uh, a painkiller because uh, I was feeling feverish and I had a headache. So um, eventually when I got to the hospital, I was feeling okay. <laughs> but anyway, I was there and it was uh, $15 to get tested. So arrived there, there was no one, it was like, zombie town there was just corridors like blue green corridors it looked like a scene from a zombie film and i got to the reception and they guided me to the triage person who then sent me to the doctor i explained my situation that i felt feverish that i know i have to get tested for malaria because i didn't take i skipped some of my malarial um, prescription and then they sent me to get the blood test done and then I got to the lab and the guy was really friendly. Actually, he was playing some Michael Jackson. I was like, yes, yeah, is my kind of lab. And um, yeah, it was very quick. I got the results in 15 minutes. And here are some clips of me in the lab, just waiting, waiting for the results. Then, result, negative. Okay, so I was glad. But they do say that malaria does actually take time sometimes to manifest. 
So they told me to come back four days later if I was still feeling like crap. Uh, luckily I wasn't, but I kept taking my anti-malarial tablets. And then, yeah, after I left Uganda, I mean, it's, it's been five months now and I've been good. But um, yeah, my result was negative and it turns out actually maybe I just needed to take a painkiller for my headache because I was having such an intense week. I was going and helping out the, the children a lot, dancing, choreographing, directing, taking the boda boda, going from one place to the next in the busy traffic. It was just a very intense week and I think my body was just tired. I, I had fatigue and then express itself through fever so luckily it wasn't malaria and i'm really happy about that but yeah so if you do go to uganda just make sure you have your tablets you have your mosquito spray and you stay in a place that has a mosquito net and if something does happen to you if you feel like you've got symptoms you can go to the hospitals to get treated go on a sunday night because there's no one <laughs> they will take you in very fairly quickly and if you do on the off chance you have malaria um, it's good to detect it early and it'll just give you like so basically your melarone or whatever malarial tablets you're taking You just take like five of those or whatever they prescribe to you and that's the treatment if you have malaria And also make sure you have medical insurance Because you never know um, So that's it really that's my my scary my my scary that's my malarial scare story of, of uh, Uganda